Okay, what do y'all do next? Blues? Uh, Are you, you don't even want to warm up with the bar? How do you warm up? <laughs> Whatever y'all want to do. I might skip the 25. I'm all about conserving energy. Okay. What's your cues? I mean, a cue I've been using lately with the shoes is really pushing into the heel of the shoe. Okay. It helps me hit depth. Okay. What happened on that 315 rep? Did your knees kind of naturally come in? Or? Yeah, yeah okay. they just naturally came in. I don't know if that's a thing because it was so heavy or what. Yeah, I mean, that's just your adductor saying, let me help out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> They've inspired the whole gym to start squatting. That's what it is. <laughs> that's one rep right there. So the squat's like a hip and knee yeah. movement, so everything else should just be locked in. It's the only place you should be bending. <laughs> butt wiggle. Yeah, that looks good. Have you always looked down at the floor when you squatted? Yeah, so, so do you recommend looking up? Or? Um, it just might help if you feel like your skin is like kind of get rounded over a little bit. It might help to okay. look more forward, not up yeah, just <laughs> by out any front. means, okay. out in front. Yeah. yeah. It's going to mostly come into play like when you're maxing out and you're rounded here. Like it's going to help to have a little bit more okay. extension in your upper back. See, that's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> work all right welcome back day 96 we got charles <laughs> donnie what's up dude, what's up, dude? Nah, just do it just vlog it a little bit how you doing right <laughs> day 96 we got charles the reoccurring guest on her third attempt of 170 kilos she always brings the intensity drive 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 grind it out grind it out yes ma'am yes ma'am that's what's up. Very nice. She owns the Washington Open bench and total record in the 67.5 kilo class. Come on, yes, she's a grinder. Conventional she's a grinder, style. ladies and gentlemen. 187.5 kilos. The judges say it's good. Three white lights. Cut. She's gonna help us out with squats and we're gonna put her through a little bicep exercise afterwards. But I got two six or two seventy. Gonna go for a five by six and hopefully, uh, hopefully not pass out. So let's go. Let's go, dude. Woo! That was heavy. All right, four more sets. I'm Charlesy. Nice to be back on Justin's channel again. Today we're going to go through some squats. I'm going to try to hang with a five by six. I think the biceps are going to be the hardest part, though, to be honest. I never train them. So. Yeah. She's in my domain now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the squat starts on the rack, so it's really important to set your grip. Take your time positioning the bar on your traps and brace really hard before you lift the bar off the J-hooks.
now too. That fifth one about didn't come up, dude. <laughs> Woo! That's fine. That's fine. All right, round three. I'm gonna keep the same weight on. Um, I was told I was hiring my hiring, firing my hip first, so I was squatting and then I was sticking my butt out. So I'm gonna try to stay more upright and and just come all up together at once. So, whoo, it's heavy though. All right, let's go round four. I think I've met my maker, 270, five by six. This has been tough, but we'll just keep pushing. Um, I need to, I'm, I'm happy to get a five by six, but I wanna get a five by six and muscle up using other muscles, right? I wanna have clean form. Um, so, I don't know. Probably need to keep 270 next week and really, really hone in on the form a little bit. So, definitely uh, leaning forward. My posterior chain is, not up to snuff with the with the rest of my body so there's some stuff i gotta work on it's all right we'll get there I'm gonna die on this one. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Ow, that belt sucks. Huh? Yeah, alright, that was sick. Let's drop the weight down for one more set. <laughs> alright, let's go. I dropped the 10 and the two and a half. Gonna just focus on form right now. Well, you like Freddie Dread? You're listening to Freddie Dread? I'll have to do it on my next set. I have no idea what you said, but okay. They're good. That's it. Whew. Fat. Are you, is it recording? <laughs> now she's in my world. Uh, 
What's the words of the day? <laughs> it's just fuck bitches get my. <laughs> All right, I'll edit that out. Just start flexing. Just start flexing. <laughs> but we're done with squats. I'm cooked. You did the whole five by six, yeah? I did, yeah. Okay, so the same too. Crazy, crazy. How much? How much do you weigh again? You want to remind that it's like one forty. Or insane i got 100 pounds on her and she's squatting more than me okay i have like 80 pounds but that's a lot but yeah we're gonna do biceps so what i like to do is for a while i was treating my biceps like accessories so now i want to focus on keeping it heavy not that this is a compound but there's more into you know whatever i'm focused on strength so i'm gonna do six to eight reps on this really slow clean form and then we'll do some hammer curls and then uh probably some dumbbell or some bajan curls to finish off that's it okay. sound good you having fun Whoa. Just imagine how much more she's gonna deadlift now, right? She'll be curling the bar up. Can you guys do me a solid? Can you strip off like, I'm gonna go failure, plate, failure, plate, failure, plate. Cause I'm fucking crazy. I'm gonna rush the cadence a little bit. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Oh yeah, this is a bad idea. <laughs> this is stupid. So, Bayesian hammer curls. So these, I always pitch these, but with dumbbell curls, when you start to fatigue, you can kind of raise your arm up, get a lot of your front delt, or even lean back into it. Having your elbows flared out like this really isolates your brachialis in your in your forearm here. So I'm just pulling up to my nipples. I'm just like this. Stretching all the way out, flex your triceps, just piece of cake. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Bayesian hammer curls. So just like every other lift, we're focusing on the stretch. So I'm starting here, rest my arms against my lats, turning my pinkies out like this. Dang, this is heavy, dude. Just me. All right, we're done. Thank you, Charlesy. Everyone say thank you. Thank go, you, Charles. Go follow. Go follow her at right Charlesy underscore. On Instagram and anything else. That's it. That's all you need. She's gonna start YouTube. She's gonna be a re recurring guest for a while. We gotta get her. We gotta get her big brain on bench. But yeah, it's done. <laughs> I got I got better today, not as much though. I failed that one set. You sounded strong. Was I loud? Thanks. I can. I got you.
I don't even really know how to flex these, but the inner part is, God, you can almost see this head, right? The lighting in here is, yeah. The hamstring flex is what's, show you guys my butt real quick. We used to, um, not we used to do a hip thrust. Give you guys the, this is y'all's favorite. <laughs> I just feel so weird doing this. <sighs> I got to do a Jay Cutler stomp, right? The stomp is really better. That separation in the quad heads. I don't know many bicep ones. There you go. There's a vein. Yeah. That's it. I got nothing. It was fun. Thank you for doing biceps with us, too. <laughs> she never does biceps. <laughs> she might not come back again. All right. Let's see you guys in the truck. All right. We'll do quad pose. Oh, you got pants on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Woo, all done. Squats, man. I hate them so much, <laughs> but I want big legs. I can't get mad because other than one rep, we completed a five pound progression. Right, 270, like, that's pretty sick. Um, part of me wants to keep it because I felt like a few of those reps, the form kind of got a little sideways on me. So, I don't know. I think maybe keep it and, and just really focus on clean form. Because a lot of the times, like I'll admit, a lot of those reps, I was using momentum to kind of help me bounce back up. Whereas like, oh, you know what? I'm goofy, dude. We only did it for four sets. I dropped the weight down for the fifth one. That's when I was doing the pause. Just forget. Just scratch that, reverse it. Forget all that. Um, but for four sets, yeah, we got to keep 270. We only did it for four sets. But it got me thinking, and talking to Charlesy about this too, like she was totally on board with the five-pound progressions every week because they were working, right? But where it got really hard today, she's like, maybe like keep doing the four sets and on the fifth set, do something like I did today with the paw squat, or even like every few weeks, drop the weight down a little bit and do more of a pause type lift, which is gonna help my technique. Cause that pause was nice because as I was descending, right? Kind of quickly, I was using my momentum to bounce back up. A lot of my like, you know, my center of gravity or my stability kind of shifted. You know, I was kind of muscling it up instead of just really being all in my, my lower half. Um, but when I was pausing and sitting without any momentum, I was really able to like focus on like my leg drive and my hip drive, right? And another thing like, oh, dude, there's a huge box truck right here. I'm not gonna be able to see, bro. I'm sorry, dude. I'm, I'm like getting in front of you now because I can't see anything. All right, we're going. Um, but yeah, I was able to really focus on the leg drive and stuff. Oh, I know what I was saying. So as I was doing that, some of those bad reps, um, Charles, she was kind of, she was saying that I was sticking my hips out. My hips were engaging first. So basically like just pretend my elbow for now is like, like my butt, right? So I'd drop down and I would stick my butt out and then stand up versus like just all one fluid motion. You know what I mean? So I would... As I'd come down to overcompensate, I would stick my, my ass out like this and then come up, which was causing me to kind of lean forward a little bit. Granted, none of, it, none of it was discomforting, or none of it was like extremely bad, but it'd be enough to like, you know, maybe one day hurt my back as, as it gets like really, really heavy. So yeah, focus on the, you know, the pause at the bottom, sit for a second and then bounce right back up. So do that, it was good. Um, makes me want to start doing, you know, I, I know we do RDLs. Oh, we didn't do RDLs. That's okay. Did heavy squats. Um, but keep doing the RDLs. 
and then maybe on um, back day um, we can do like some um, lower back extension sorry <clears throat> excuse me um, some lower back extensions to work more on that lower back strength and uh, posterior chain you know what I mean which will help me stay upright and strong during the during the squat I'm still trying to figure out the bracing um, getting better though getting better you got to brace man you got to brace on all your compound everything dude like your pull-ups even you got to brace your core keep everything tight you know but yeah it's fun um go check her out on instagram charles c underscore ith here's like the thing um we got to get her back on for bench and then what we talked about one day going uh she's got a pretty sick uh pretty sick setup at her house in her garage doing a she say SBD day, a squat, bench, and deadlift. Do all those in one day. That'd be a fun. Just put us through the ringer, man. So we'll we'll definitely hang out with her. She's an awesome reoccurring guest. Um, can't thank her enough for for taking the time of her day and, and and teaching us. Let us talk shop. She's she's so friendly and she's so strong too. So strong, it's insane. Um, but yeah, we'll just keep this thing going. Um, keep this thing going. Sorry, I'm getting a phone call. I'm halfway to a new camera, well, almost halfway, almost halfway. I told y'all when I get a thousand subs, I get a better camera. I got one picked out. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be really sick. But yeah, I'm gonna go home and uh, eat some rice. I gotta refuel my glycogen. I was kind of running late. The oldest kid had a dentist appointment um, pretty early. Anyway, I had to get my day going a lot earlier, so I didn't have my typical oats. I had a I mean, I still had plenty of carbs. I think I left the house with like 78 grams of carbs, like 40 grams of protein. It's fine. Ideally, I would have had a little bit more going into squats, but I don't think that hindered me at all. Um, but yeah, I got to catch up, so I'm going to eat a lot of rice. I'll probably do that, some of that cilantro lime rice again from Costco, 94 grams of carbs. So they get me up in like, the, you know, the, the 180-ish, and I'll get, I'll have another, you know, carb meal later on in the day. And then got to have my protein. I bought some new pre-workout. I'm not taking BSN, uh, no explode, and, and, dude, 12 years. Maybe not that, 10 to 12 years. But they have a new one called Vaso, and it's got a lot of, uh, it's got like 3.2 grams of beta alanine. It's got a lot of citrulline. It's actually got 2 grams of creatine monohydrate. So instead of taking the 5 grams after I lift, I'll, I'll do the 3. It doesn't... I mean, I just make it a habit to do post-workout, but you're not, you're saturating your body, right? You're saturating your whole entire, like, all your muscles with, with creatine, so it doesn't matter re- when you really get it in the day. I'm sure you'll see studies and stuff that'll say otherwise, but, like, don't get lost in the sauce, man. Just, so I'm going to take, you don't need more than five, so I'm going to take two with that, and then I'll just put three grams in my, in my post-workout shake. And then yeah, I got a I got some chicken um, breast thawing out right now. I'm gonna throw those in the dude. I just I, like okay, I'm pretty lazy, <laughs> so I'll buy a lot of those skewers and stuff from Costco. But like if I'm making chicken, dude, I think the best way to make it is in the in the oven. You can marinate it or whatever. I usually marinate it. You know, it just depends. But I will marinate it or put some seasoning on it, and I'll just put it in the in the oven. And just for like, like I'll put like on 350 for like 50 minutes, 55 minutes, and it's so good, dude. It's so good. But get some more chicken, and then probably some more rice again later. Pretty, pretty boring guy, chicken and rice every single day. But yeah, thank you guys so much for the love. This is our year, dude. This is our year. I'm getting, I'm getting 405 on squats, 495 on deadlift, 315 on bench before the end of the year. Promise. All right, I love you guys. Have a good day. Stay intense. Stay consistent. Rest up. Eat your macros. And have a good lift. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye.